let's check the next feature of ABAP 7.4 so the arithmetic expression it can be performed in the SQL query itself so this is interesting I like it um, let's check how we can do that so we are back in our ADT let me comment the previous codes which we wrote control 7 and then let me copy just the heading which says I think we are on our ninth point which says arithmetic express and select query so what we'll do is um, we know that sometimes we want to find the discounts sometimes we find want to add two fields say say uh, you the sales order price is say 10 bucks but we want to give a discount to a certain customer say we want to give 10 percent discount discount so in our program what we used to do is we used to read the value from the table and then we multiply by 0.9 uh, and it becomes 90 percent so that's the new sales price if the sales price is 10 dollar we may want to make it 9 dollar so what we used to do earlier we used to either multiply by 0.9 or we used to do 0.1 1 percent so 10 minus 0.1 of 10 so we used to do 9 dollar so we used to do those calculation now we do not need to do it let's see how we can do that so what I'll do, I'll, I'll write a select statement again. Select um, EBLN, say works, and then say BRTWR. And we want to give, uh, we want to see how much is the 10% discount. So we'll say 10% means it will be, I'll, I'll define a variable discount um, as, so you have to remember as, you have to say discounted price into table um, uh, let's say from ekpo into table table at the rate now you know this inline declaration lipo and i'll say up to 10 so like this with this um, this up to 10 dollars i'll not and then we'll give a full stop so and i want to declare data we declare the lv discount what is the value so type say p to decimal 2 it should be p length 2 decimal 2 and value length 2 decimal 2 value i'll say 0 0.9 okay it should be decimals all right and i'll i'll just keep if psi b r c equal to zero and if so you see there is something red here what is this red okay i'll just say 0.9 okay i'll give a 0 0.9 Hopefully it's correct. Now it doesn't understand LV because we have to escape the host variable. So host variable means what is defined in the program. So now let's activate it. Perfect. And let's see if we can write B R T W R also. Let's see. Activate. So we have the original price and we also have the discounted price which is as LV discount. So this is the beauty of inline declaration. I added one field, but still I did not need to change anything. If it had been old programming, so in the types I have to define B D B R T W R, and then we have to also define LV discount in that type, right? So let's try to run this. I execute F8. Okay, we have nothing to show because we did not put a breakpoint. Let's let's put a breakpoint over here, and then do an F8 again it brings us to this debug perspective and let's check our value so there are 10 entries let's check the first entry so first entry let me scroll a little down okay look at here the original price was 40 dollars and now we gave a 10 percent discount so 10 percent of 40 is 4 dollars so the discounted price is 36 dollar so do you get it so the it did this calculation on the fly so that is the beauty so let's um, write something uh, in the loop so that it will be more clear 
so let me say loop at um lipo assigning less less um fill symbol so we'll do an inline declaration i have not shown you the inline declaration of fill symbol yet but let me show you here so it's same just like you declare the data you also can declare the fill symbol on the fly and look so i'll say lf okay i have to give fill symbol lf underscore po i'll say eb eblm okay i'll do right so for this eblm okay why does it not understand okay eb i made a spelling mistake eb e l m okay now it's good and then i'll say right right i'll say i'll do that concatenate so concatenate is very useful original price equals to what is it lf po b r t w r and then we'll give a comma and then we'll say oh we have to put this in bracket right because anything which is a variable we have to put in a curly braces and then i'll say discounted Dead price equals to in the curly braces i'll say l f p o discount oh, this underscore price all right and then give a full step activate so it activated successfully now try let's try to run it i'll just remove the debugger and show you the output let's run it check the output so it's it's very clear now the original price was 40 dollars now this discounted price is 36 see so here we learned so many things we learned the inline declaration of the field symbol we learned the concatenation using the pipe now we learned the arithmetic operation in in just one example so we did this uh, example of multiplication we can also do an addition say say tomorrow you want to put a tax tax price okay so lv underscore tx type p type p length say two decimals again two value say discounted tax you want to put say two dollars tax okay two dollars value two two point zero we'll give full stop so here so you said discounted price now i can add one more field say uh, comma b r t w r uh, plus tax okay at the rate l v t a x as tax included tax inclusive price okay so this is a tax inclusive price so so it's original price discounted price and now we can add one more which says total taxable price equal to what we'll give again we'll put in the curly braces we'll put l f underscore p o what we'll put t a x where is it inclusive i c l do you get it and let's, let's activate this and I'll just close all the sessions uh, windows which were open. Now let's test it. So did I activate it? Let me try one more time. So activated. Now I do an F8. Where is the F8? Look here. So what we do? We did that added a tax of two dollars in every price. So the taxable amount is forty plus two, forty-two, and this is the fourteen hundred plus two. So, 402, so it added so just i want to show that taxable any arithmetic operation so we did a mathematical multiplication and we did an addition you can do plus minus divide all arithmetic operation can be do, done in the select statement